Bonnie, she just can't catch a break. Clyde, he can't catch a break either. So I wanted to make a little video to let you guys know how they're doing. Uh, I can't really say they're doing much better, but they're doing much better from the issues they had before. Uh, you don't know what I'm talking about. I'll link the video up top. You can go back on their little progression, but I've been having just a ton of issues with these baby goats. And it's all because of the butt heads they gotta share the pin with. Dinner's cooking. I've been out in the yard working all day and I decided to fire up the old pit boss. We are smoking some chickens raised right here on the property. Just, what else could you ask for? Oh man, I can't wait. Close that back up. Oh yeah, life has just been busy everybody. I apologize for making all the goat videos, but there's kind of been like the thing that's been going on around here lately. Besides, uh, I don't know, the guy who sprayed my weeds and stuff. First time I ever done it. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever do it again, but I actually had a yard service come out and they, uh, they took care of my yard because I get a lot of voles. So we put some grub control down and I was like, you know what, while you're at it, let's, uh, why don't you go ahead and spray for weeds, aerate, just give me the whole shebang. I told them specifically, don't spray my garden beds, don't spray my corn bed, don't even spray near them, and stay the heck away from my asparagus. And he was out here, and I showed him exactly where it's at. And they hit it. So, so mom was a little upset about that right now, and things have just been super busy around here. I got a new hat though. Um, Woo, do you guys hear that? We've shut the water up before we get back here because we're trying to get some of that weed control down. Uh, yeah, we've decided that we have too many roosters. You guys have heard me say that in the past, but seriously, I'm gonna try to give some away or we're gonna have some soup chickens because uh, one, they're wearing the girls out, and two, man, there's just a lot of cock doo doo down, going on down there. Enough of me, what's going on? You guys are spun up a little bit. <sighs> Let's go check on these baby goats and I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can kind of tell in the background, you buy heads are on lockdown. Yeah, yeah. You guys can't leave well enough alone. You just gotta be, gotta be on top of everything. It's so bad that I had to move these goats to a whole new area. You guys, uh, you guys want to tell them what you did? Huh? You, you Mama G? Boots. Patches? No? Also our goats, they figured out how to squeeze underneath the fence here. So now I gotta weld something down there to make it a little bit more sturdy. You guys wanna come get some food? We found out the other day, Clyde, He's not using that back leg or that front leg. He's really hobbling on this leg right here. It's a little lame. It is getting better. I don't think it's broke because before he wouldn't even put any weight on it. And now he's putting a little bit of weight on it. And I can only imagine how that happened. Bonnie is missing a horn. She had her horn tore off or broke off and I'm not really sure how it happened, but I can only imagine his larger goats did something and, and uh, broke it off. So, so the horn was decapped. It came completely off and the only thing that was left was a nub. So we've been spraying uh, an antibiotic spray. You guys probably know if you've seen it before um, because this, this stuff, it dyes your hands whenever you get it on you. And it, it's always messy. It's, yeah, but this is what we're using. They do make it in an aerosol. Uh, I probably should have got the aerosol because that's a little messy, but we're spraying her her exposed bud up there with the antibiotic spray, and it gives her purple hair, so it's kind of funny. Uh, they don't typically like me anymore um, because I've been treating them for sickness, which Bonnie is over her cold. Clyde is over his goopy eye. Is as far as it goes to illnesses, they are tip top. They are 100% better. She's missing a little antler. And Clyde, 
he's doing three step. So I can't tell you when they're gonna bounce back from that. So what happened to Bonnie is not that uncommon. Now whether it was caused by the jerks across the way, her fainting or just running into something, um, it's not really uncommon for does to lose an antler. So that's why they always uh, recommend don't grab the baby does by their antlers because at that age they're really brittle and they tend to pop off. And I think she got hers caught, I'm not sure because, <laughs> big yawn, it was just hanging off by a little piece of skin on the back because I went to go splint it and I uh, realized that it was too far gone. So I kind of did the sensible thing and finished the job. She wasn't too happy about it, but uh, she's doing better now. And I get the pleasure of wearing this for a couple of days. I'm telling you, a smart man would wear gloves when dealing with this stuff. So one of the main reasons why we moved those other goats over there, one, they just keep on giving these guys a hard time. Two, um, whatever happened, I'm pretty sure what happened to him was caused by them. And three, when you have goats that are sick or injured or hurt, they don't want to compete for food and water when it comes to males or other goats that are being dominant over them. So I wanted to make sure these guys got plenty of food and plenty of water and I don't want them to have to worry about those guys over there giving them a hard time while they're doing it. So she still has got a nub. She just, uh, it just don't look like that no more. Ooh, that one is really loose too. So we wanted to give these guys a perfect opportunity to heal up, rest, get plenty of food and water, not have to worry about those jerk goats over there giving them a hard time beating them up rolling them over because when these guys these guys faint whenever they get startled or excited they they hit the ground and these other goats just roll them over now i thought maybe that dominance thing will, would just pass and they would they would just get their uh, dominance established and they would move on but he's got a limp she's got a busted horn it was time for them to move on to the other side because we couldn't risk them having any more injuries while they're trying to heal up. As far as their illnesses go, they're doing really well, but uh, I didn't want them to have to compete for food and water while they're trying to heal up. Did you pull this up? I did. So we might get some comments about, you know, why didn't we uh, debud our baby goats or debud these guys? I don't really like debudding because I don't, not saying it's cruel or anything, it's just I'm not experienced enough to really do that on my own. And if somebody wants to do it, then 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 that's their animals, so be it. Uh, I'm not particularly going to do that with my goats, but with that antler issue, I might give it consideration and take it upon myself to start doing it. They haven't started damaging anything with their, with their horns yet, so I'm not really concerned about them having horns. Because that pin area is in pretty decent shape. They haven't been beating everything up. Do that again. <laughs> that smells pretty good. Woo. Oh, man. Yep. Well, I'm going to get these chickens off the smoker. We're going to head inside. We're going to eat dinner. I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks, guys.